Good morning. This is our lesson for today. It's all about the quarter one, module five. It's all about the logarithmic function. The lesson six. Lesson six. It's all about the intercept zero and asymptote. So I chose this topic for you guys because this is quite unfamiliar to parents and students as and as well as how are we going to explain deeper this to this to the parents or to the elder ones so that it can be of use or it can be understood by the student so i am mr live and i am your pilot for today and this is the self-learning module we can find this one and the objective for this study are if of this lesson is to locate the intercepts of the logarithmic function we're going to find to determine after that we're going to explain the zero and the x intercept are they the same uh, when can we get when can we find the x intercept as well as the zero then we're going to compute the in x intercept the y intercept and as well as the asymptotes of the logarithmic equation or function and then we are going to draw the asymptote and describe the intercept zero and the asymptote or the isa from the table of values from the graphs as well as from the given equation of the logarithmic function. So this graph is where this topic is very important. Why? Because this is current. We know that this one is a total coronavirus case in the Philippines and this is the graph since February 1 to June 6 and this is in logarithmic scale. This has a lot of misconceptions that even our uh, Department of Health um, or somebody that misinterpreted that this graph consists of flat of the curve where is the flattening of the curve in this point uh, did we achieve the flattening of the curve if so where it is so this graph is the same as this graph and to understand the coronavirus case in the Philippines we need to understand this graph so this topic is quite important for us to draw some a view to the students to the parents about what happens using the graph this is the first this is an e coli bacteria that started from one and then it splits it grows and it splits and it grows and this started from zero one one that is the starting and then it splits it grows it becomes two and it splits it grows it becomes four and so on this is our exponential growth a few from our topic exponential equation and this one has an equation of two to the x so for example we have here the first from the start there is one then we split it becomes two it splits and it grows it becomes four it splits and it grows it becomes eight and this is the first the starting it becomes the first zero after the first interval it becomes two after the second interval it becomes four after the third inter interval it becomes eight and we write two cube equals eight now let's define what is the value what is two cube the result is eight that is very important how about the interpretation of this in logarithmic function two to the cube equals eight two there is our doubling machine that is the machine that doubles every interval every interval and three there is the interval time so that means the three signifies that two is double three times that is two another two and then two and we multiply it it becomes or say the first is we have two and then splits four become then splits becomes eight two cube and eight equals a result the question is how many times can we double to get eight of course the value is three the three there this is the most important 
in our topic. To do this, for example, is the value of x, 22 to the x equals 72. And how many times can we double or can we multiply 2 by itself to get 72? So it's quite unfamiliar because 2 times 2 times 2, times two we cannot get 72. 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 60 times 2, 32 times 2. 7. 64 times 2, 128. We cannot get 72. But how can we get the value of x? Of course, x here is not an integer, so that's why we cannot easily find. To do that one, we have this, the general form of the exponential function, b to the x equals y. We know that x is our exponent. So to do that one, we set y equals x. We get b to the y equals x. What is the value of y? In this case, we are going to find the inverse. The inverse, why? Because the logarithmic is the inverse of the exponential function. That is the inverse. To show to you, we have here the b to the x equals y. We let x equals y. We've got b to the y equals x. And multiplying log both sides, we've got log to the b to the y equals log of x. And we know that y here is our exponent. We can set this one as our numerical coefficient. And we will divide it by log b, log b, we've got y equals log of x over log b, which this one has also property that if this is the case, the same base, we have here this result x and result b. This can be the result and this could be the base of the resultant. That becomes log of x base b. Therefore, x is equals log of y base b. Why? Because we transfer x equals y. So, binalik natin sa dati that x then y. That is x equals log of y base b. Therefore, if this is b to the x equals y equal, then our x here, the exponent, the value of this can be found by log of y base b. So, therefore, these two exponential and this logarithm are really inverses. To show to you, this is the graph of exponential function. y equals to the x. Looking at the red, this is the reflection of this graph. By this mirror or this axis of symmetry, then we have log of x base 2. So, let's start with the intercept. In the intercept, we have two types of intercept. The x-intercept and the y-intercept. The x-intercept is the abscissa or the first number and the partner is 0, or the x-coordinate, and the partner is 0, or say the value of x, when we equal 0, where the graph passes through the x-axis at a. It is the shortest distance from the point 0, a, or a0, to the origin. It is the value of x when y equals 0. The x-intercept is also known as the zeros. It is these are the root or solution of the logarithmic function that is in y equals 0. That is also the x-intercept. So 0 is the x-intercept, what the value of x when y equals 0. The value of x when y equals 0. Start with this graph. This graph intersect this point, this number. This point is referred as 2, 0. Or say, a straight ng y is 0, and this point is 2, 0. So this graph intersects the x-axis at 2. Therefore, that is the x-intercept. The x-intercept is 2. And this is the graph of log of x minus 1 base 5. Given this graph and given this equation, how can we find the x-intercept of 2 if that is an equation? Of course, we know that log of x minus 1 base 5 equals y. To get the value of x, we set the value of y to 0. We let y equal 0. And 0 equals log of x minus 1 base 5. We know that to solve for x, this one is our base, this one is our exponent, and this is our result. That is 5 to the 0 equals x minus 1. And using the definition of logarithm that or the property that b to the y equals x, therefore y equals log of x base b, then we have 5 to the 0 equals x minus 1. 5 to the 0 is equal to 1. Of 
course, a number raised to 0, except 0 is equal to 1. x minus 1 equals 1. And by addition property of equality, 1 plus 1 equals x. And x equals 2. Therefore, the x-intercept is 2. When we equal 0, or the point is 2, 0. Consequently, that is also the 0. The 0 is 2. Let's have a practice number 1. What is the x-intercept of this graph? The answer is 0. Correct. Why? Because this graph intersects this point at x axis 0 how about the 0 still 0 because the x intercept is the same as the 0 how about this of course negative 3 how about this of course we cannot say that is really negative 1 why because this graph intersect but at approaches to negative 1 so therefore the x intercept is somewhere here negative 0 0.9999 or somewhere close to negative 1 from the right so the 0 is this number what is this number so that is close to negative 1 practice number 4 say for example we have the equation what is the x-intercept the x-intercept is the value of x of course we let y equal 0 and you've got here 0 is equals to log of x minus 2 base 3 and using the exponent you got 3 to the 0 equals x minus 2 3 to the 0 equals 1 and we have 1 equals x minus 2 and addition property 1 plus 2 equals x and x equals to 3 therefore the x intercept is 3 and the 0 is also 3 how about number 5 compute the x intercept and 0 of the following number 5 y equals negative log of x plus 1 base 4 so this is quite um, unfamiliar because there is a negative here but we know that when there is a negative as the numerical coefficient this can be transferred here as the exponent of the result so therefore that is equivalent to log of x plus 1 to the net power of negative 1 and we know that we let y equal 0 to compute for the x-intercept. You've got 0 is equals log of x plus 1 to the negative 1 base 4. And you've got 4 to 0 equals to x plus 1 raised to the power of negative 1. And you've got 1 equals to 1 over x plus 1. That is, we know that this one is can be transferred to a positive exponent. This is negative. And we find it by finding the reciprocal. So that is 1 over x plus 1 to the power of 1. And that is by cross multiplication, 1 times x plus 1, or multiplying both sides by x plus 1, x plus 1, and x plus 1, we cancel, and you've got 1 is equals to x plus 1. And therefore, our x plus 1 equals 1. Multi addition property of the quality, we've got x equals 1 minus 1, and that is 0. So therefore, the x intercept is 0, and the 0 is 0. How about y equals ln of x minus 1? We know that ln is defined our equivalent to log of x minus 1 base e so we write y equals log of x minus 1 base e and we know that if to find the x intercept we let y equals 0 therefore 0 equals log of x minus 1 base e and this one is our base exponent so e to the 0 this is the result x minus 1 therefore we have here e to the 0 equals minus 1. e to the 0 equals 1. Therefore, that is x minus 1. X minus 1. By addition property of equality, we've got 1 plus 1 is equal to x. Therefore, the x intercept is 2 and the 0 is 2. How about number 7? Log of x. We know that log of x has no base. But we know that if there is no base, that is base 10. So y equals log of x base 10. So therefore, we have log of of x base 10 equals 0 because we let y equals 0 and 10 to the 0 equals 1 therefore the x intercept is 1 and the 0 is still 1 how about number 7 given this point negative 1 0 and 0 5 the x intercept is the value of x when y equals 0 so this is the point referred not this one because the value of x when y equals 0 or any value of this x when this is 0, automatically the x intercept is negative 1 and the 0 is also negative 1. Now, number 9, so for example, 9, 2, 27, 3, and 1, 0. We know that this one has a partner of 0. 
the y is 0 and x is 1. Therefore, the x-intercept is 1 and the 0 is also 1. How about number 10? To have a3, 4, 2, 2, 1, 1, 0. Where is 0? This is 0. What is the x-coordinate? That is 1. The abc is 1. Therefore, the x-intercept is 1 and the 0 is 1. So the uh, second intercept is called the y-intercept. The y-intercept is the ordinate or the value of y when x equals 0. So, kabalik tarang doon sa x-intercept or the opposite because the x-intercept is the value of x and y-intercept is the value of y. When x is equals to 0, hanapin natin kung ano yung kapartner ng 0 dito sa y-coordinate. When the value does not exist, we write none. So, for example, we have this. What is the y-intercept? The y-intercept is the value where the graph passes through the y-axis. It is the shortest distance from the point of intersection to the origin. And this is our graph. And we have here the y coordinate is 1 the y intercept is 1 the y coordinate when x equals 0 is 1 this is the graph of y of log of x plus 2 base 2 now if this is the graph of log of x plus 2 base 2 how can we identify the y intercept we'll let y equals 0 and you've got log of 0 plus 2 base 2 and 0 plus 2 is 2 we've got 2 alam natin that if these two are the same by the property of log of a base a that is equivalent to 1 therefore y equals 1 or say if we don't know this property we can use the law of exponent that this is the base this is the exponent this is the result so therefore 2 to the y equals 2 that is 2 to the y equals 2 to the power of 1 hence y equals 1 because they have the same base how about this 2.1 determine the y intercept of this graph this graph passes through the origin and therefore the y intercept is this point therefore the y intercept is 0 how about this the y-intercept is the value of y of course this one is 0 1 2 and therefore the y-intercept is 1 how about this this graph intersect this point and that is this number negative 4 therefore the y-intercept is negative 4 how about this to determine the y-intercept of y equals log of x minus 2 base 3 first we'll let the value of x becomes 0 because y intercept is the value of y that means 0 minus 2 and we know that negative 2 the log of the result the result must be positive if this is not positive <coughs> that is not existing and there is none and the y intercept is none I thought you mean the y intercept of y cos negative log of x plus 1 base 4 now this is the negative so it becomes the exponent and we let x equals 0 and you've got y equals log of 1 to the power of negative 1 1 to the power of negative 1 is 1 and therefore y is equals to log of 1 base 4 we write 4 to the y equals 1 or we have 4 to the y equals 4 to the 0 kasi ang 1 ay pwede isulat na 4 to the 0 para na mapareho silang dalawa and you've got y equals 0 so therefore the y intercept is 0 next 2.6 ln of x minus 1 the ln of x of course ln i put in so let log of base e therefore we write 0 minus 1 when x equals 1 you've got y equals log of negative 1 base e and this one is still undefined because this must be positive therefore the y intercept is none how about number 7 log of x we have no base here Pag walang base, it means base 10. We have y plus log of x, base 10. And this is 0. We know that 0 is not positive. That means this does not exist. That means the graph does not intersect the y-axis. The graph does not intersect the y-axis. There is no y-intercept, so none. How about this? 
the y-intercept is the value of y when x equals 0. Therefore, this is no, yes. So, the y-intercept is negative 5 kasi ang partner niya ay 0, 2.9. So, the point 0, negative 5 implies that the y-intercept is negative 5. Vis of v negative 5 implies the point 0, negative 5. The y-intercept of negative 5 implies the point 0, negative 5. 2.9. So, any question before I proceed to ask them don't. So, if you have no question, if you have some questions, kindly chat me and you, have, you can send your question. <coughs> asymptote. Asymptote. This is, as you, um, in your previous lesson, this is an imaginary line or a line that the graph approaches but never touches. This is also existing in the logarithmic function that the logarithmic asymptote is always a vertical. In here, there is no horizontal asymptote. That is x equals h in the function y equals log of x minus h base b plus k. Or y minus k equals log of x minus h base b. Now, we know that this one is defined if this one is positive. Therefore, this one is also defined when this is positive. Therefore, this must be greater than 0. And if not zero, then that is not defined. Therefore, the first line or the first imaginary line that this one becomes undefined is the point x minus h equals zero. And that is our x equals h is our vertical asymptote. We know that the asymptote is somewhat opposite of the range and domain. So therefore, we look at the domain. The domain here, x minus h is greater than 0 on the first vertical line that the graph approaches but never touches is x cos h. And that is our vertical asymptote of the logarithmic function. Let's say, for example, this graph, of course, we can say that this graph is quite here. It, it approaches to this line this line but never touches so there is here an imaginary line or broken line this is called the asymptote and the asymptote an equation of x equals this one that means x equals negative 2 the vertical asymptote so very clear how about this practice this one is x equals negative 2 but this graph is the graph of y equals a lot of x plus 2. So to find the asymptote, we let this x plus 2 must be positive to be defined. And the first point na hindi siya defined is that somewhere that x is equal, x plus 2 is equal to 0. So we let x plus 2 is greater than 0 or x plus 2 must be greater than 0, that x is greater than negative 2, or x is equals to negative 2. So this is the first imaginary line. The graph is does not intersect. So this is our asymptote, x equals negative 2. x is, must be greater than negative 2, that is the allowable values of x. This is a domain. And this one is the first value that the graph is not defined is at x equals negative 2 and example practice 3.1 what is the asymptote here we can find this graph this is the line that is x equals negative 1 that is our asymptote how about this this is quite a line that the graph approaches but never touches so that is x equals negative 4 how about this line this line does not intersect the negative one therefore this line approaches to negative one if this one intersect this line that means this is not the vertical asymptote therefore the the vertical asymptote is somewhere greater than here if but if this graph does not intersect here mas maganda sana kung meron tayong graph at the same time equation but in this since graph lang ang binigay then if this graph does not intersect here then the asymptote is x equals negative 1. If somewhat intersecting to this imaginary line, 
that means that it's not the x um, the asymptote but since this one does not then that is the x as the x equals negative one is the asymptote how about we have the graph so the graph of y equal um, the equation y equals lag of x minus 2 base 3 has an asymptote of of course para mas madali we know that this one the first point na hindi siya maging defined is at zero therefore x minus 2 equals zero x equals 2 that is our asymptote unahin natin yun. so for example we have y equals lag of x plus 1 base 4 the negative we have here, hindi natin pakikaalaman itong dito. Ang pakialaman natin ay ito. So, x plus 1 must be positive. So, x plus 1 is great, equal to 0 is the first line or the equation na hindi mag-define natin graph. That is x equals, by addition property, we've got negative 1. So, x equals negative 1. How about 3.6? y equals alan of x minus 1. Ito lang ang titignan natin, x minus 1. So, x minus 1, x minus 1 must be positive. Or, at x minus 1 equals 0, that is the first upon number that the graph does not intersect. So, x equals 1 is the first line, imaginary line, or a line, a broken line that the graph approaches but never touches. So, that is the asymptote is x equals 1. How about this? y equals lag of x. So, x equals 0. That is our asymptote. And that is all. Stay safe.